You know, it's like, it's like 30 miles back and forth, taking her to work. But yet you take money out from your check every week to put towards the gas. Yeah, but I got other bills to pay. You know, I got insurance. What bills? You don't towing. even pay your credit cards anymore. You ain't got no bills. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Adriana and Hiel met at a restaurant more than three years ago, and love must have been on the menu because the couple was married a year later. But now, after two years of marriage, Adriana claims Hiel is financially irresponsible, while he asserts Adriana wants to party far too much. Two weeks prior, I had given him the money to pay the electricity. Obviously, it didn't get paid. Three days later, they were going to disconnect our electricity. Where is the money going? Yeah, I got bills to you know, afford to buy you stuff. I got to get stuff for my son, too. I buy wait, my wait, own wait, Hang stuff. on, hang on, hang on. But, 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 let, let, let's get our priorities straight here. Adriana says she can't take it anymore and wants to cancel her order today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Adriana Cabral and Hiel Estrada. The two of you have been married for two years, and you have an eight-month-old son together. You do not, however, want to be married anymore. Uh, we, you want to discuss the issues about your separation and your son. And in that process, you also, Mrs. Cabral, are seeking money for that with respect to a car yes. that we will talk about uh, once we conclude uh, uh, discussing the other matters. So before we get to that, I will start with you, Ms. Cabral, and ask you to tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today. Your Honor, my husband is financially irresponsible. Let me give you an example. A couple months ago, I went to go check the mail, mm -hmm. come back, and there's a note on my door. Open it up. It's from our electric company talking about we owe them $99 plus a $9 fee on top of that for them personally delivering it to my home. Two weeks prior, I had given him the money to pay the electricity. Obviously, it didn't get paid. Three days later, they were going to disconnect our electricity. I have an eight-month-old son. Okay. I need my electricity, obviously. And on top of that, as I'm going through the mail, I get one from the cable company. $120 we owe the cable company when I had given him the money for that as well. Where's the money going? Mr. Estrada, where's the money going? You know, it's going to gas. You know, it's like, it's like 30 miles back and forth, taking her to work. But yet you take money out from your check every week to put towards the gas. Yeah, but I got other bills to pay. You know, I got insurance. What bills? You don't towing. even pay your credit cards anymore. You ain't got no bills. Yeah, I got bills to, you know, afford to buy you stuff. I got to get stuff for my son, too. I buy wait, my wait, own wait, stuff. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But, but, but let's, let's, let's get our priorities straight here. Uh, not so much with the cable, but you got to pay the electric bill. Gas and electric. I mean, you kind of got to pay that, right? Before uh, you do. It's understood, yeah. It, it, it needs to be done. Do you, have you two ever sit, sat down with a piece of paper and, 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 and here's what's coming in. Here's yeah. what we got to pay. I here's how we going to roll. I made a money chart for each check that we get each month, what goes to what? How much goes to the rent? How much goes to the bills? How much goes to my son and all his necessities? And we came to agreement, OK, well, this is how much we're going to take out from each check to pay the things that we got to pay. I mean, what was the point Did of she make me a money making chart? a money chart? She I never even heard of a money chart, but it sounds good to me. <laughs> it sounds good. Do you have a money chart, and have you failed to spend money in accordance with the money chart? She made a money chart, you know, but car maintenance is expensive. You know, car breaks down. I got to take money out of that to fix the car. Can you understand, however, that things come up sometimes, extraordinary expenses. Unexpected and things. Unexpected expenses, and he can't really stick to a chart if, in fact, life just happens to but him. But, Your Honor, even when the unexpected things do come up, I'm the one paying for it. Um, a couple months ago, he needed to pass smog. It needed a new um, converter for his car. Right. He needed to pay $244 to pass smog. Mm -hmm. And then, who paid for that? I paid for that. I paid $600 to fix his car so the check engine light would turn off. 
I pay $244 for his registration. And obviously it's his car because I don't ever get to drive it. I'm paying for his car. It's his car. Mr. Estrada. That's all me. You in trouble. This woman got every penny she's ever seen. On a, you know, she knows where every dime is. So, I mean, I know you're working from a... I know you're working from a disability, because at my house, my husband's like that. He has never met a penny. He hasn't been able... He can track it all the way around the world. You know, where are your receipts, baby? So I, I feel your pain a little bit. We're gonna move off the money for a minute, even though I know you're interested in it. We're gonna move off the money, and I want to talk to you, Mr. Estrada. Why don't you tell me what your major concerns or complaints are about your wife? Well... Start with the big stuff. She constantly uses my son against me. Explain like, it's, that to it's me. Like, you know, she always tells me I don't help out with the bottles, I don't change his diaper, I don't feed him. But yeah, you know, when I come home from work, I do the bottles, I make sure he's fed, I make sure he's changed. You After know, I don't, I I don't do the bed. To. Hold on. I don't do the bed, you know, but that's not my importance. I can do the bed later. My son is what's important to me. So when I get home, he's changed, he's fed, and then I go pick her up. Why I pick her up, gas gets wasted, money gets spent. So, you know, I gotta put money in for gas, I gotta put money in for other things. So, You're but picking it's, me Do you say that car. he doesn't help with his son when he really does? I mean, he does the small things. He washes the bottles, he bathes him once in a while. I think in eight months he's bathed him like three times. Um, you wake up with him at night, you feed Every him. Every night. Yes, I give that to you. Every but, morning. Uh, once again, the financial things. Do you pay for his formula? I pay for hey, his hey, formula. Hey, 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 we're not going back down that road. <laughs> When Divorce Court continues, is Adriana putting social media before her husband? Shouldn't he come before Facebook, though? He does. I make him his dinner, and then I go on to my social computer life. Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222. Or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Adriana Cabral, who says her husband, Hiel, can't save money. But has Adriana invested more into the couple's finances and less into their marriage? Guess what happens when we go out? She's on her phone. We go to a bar, she's on her phone. You say that she is addicted to phone texting. She's always Tell on me her about phone. that. You know, we go out to eat as a family. Me, her, my son spend at least one day together, but she's on her phone, Facebook, texting other people, updating status. When I try to talk to her, she's on her phone. Like, you know, why are you always on your phone? I don't, I don't have my phone out. You know, and I'm all, I'm, I'm all down with the computer. I got a Facebook page. I, I, I can't tweet yet. I still haven't figured that part out. <laughs> but, but, uh, and, I, and, I, and I have a web page and all that. And for a minute there, I was checking it, and you know, and my husband was sitting over there looking at me, and I like, hey, I got a whole live breathing guy over here. Got a heartbeat, big arms, big, you know, woo! I'm missing that. <laughs> are you taking it, are you, are you, are you letting your electronic life soak up too much of your real life? No, not at all. I'm, I'm still able to take care of my son. I, I still go to work every day, work my butt off, and then I get home, cook yes, him I'm his about dinner, when we go out. Hang on, hang on, cook hang on. him his dinner, and then I find time for Facebook. I mean, I go, I check it shouldn't every... He come, shouldn't he come before Facebook, though? He does. I make him his dinner, and then I go on to my social computer <laughs> life. Yeah, but, you know, I, I understand, and I understand... I, I sit by I myself mean, and eat, you know, when she's, you know, out in the room on her Facebook, you know, you know, you oh, marriage, to you be know, by yourself on a dinner table That's by it. myself. Hey, 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 people, people, people! In addition to feeding him, you must feed the marriage as well. And feeding the marriage means <laughs> that you spend time together, you discuss things, you talk. You build a little world of your own that is just for the two of you that's not shared with anything else. That's what gives a marriage walls to, to hold it up. And that's another thing, Your Honor. I try my hardest to keep our relationship still spontaneous like How do you it do used that? to be. For example, I go out, not every weekend, I think I go out every other weekend. Every time I go out, I invite him, got the babysitter lined up and everything. Do you think he wants to go out with me? No. His response is, no, I'm just gonna stay home and yeah, watch some TV, be with my son, and then I'm gonna watch some sports. 
But yeah, you want to sit there and complain talking about that I don't give our, my everything into our marriage, but yet I'm offering him to come out with me, to come have some fun. Mr. Have Estrada, are you We're doing the young. same thing, starving the marriage because you you watching cable? I'm not sitting home watching. I do, like, yeah, I do sit while sports like any other guy would, you know? But I work 12 hours a day. I, I wake up at 6.30, go to work, be there at 7, come home at 12, take her to work, take my son babysitting, go back to work. Do the and same thing. Wow. Hold on. you don't think taking care of a child you know, is a full-time job? I'm not saying it's not a full-time job. I'm saying I don't have enough time to spend with him, which is why I stay home. I want to stay home with him at night to spend every minute oh, I can. Oh, no, wait a minute, Mr. I'm Mr. trying to Mr. be a dad. He sounded awfully good on that one. <laughs> you know, I, I don't spend time. Like, I understand we're young. We got to go out. But guess what happens when we go out? She's on her phone. We go to a bar. She's on her phone. <laughs> When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn breaks down the concept of communication. Berating them doesn't help. You give them an opportunity, you put it out there, you come back later, but it doesn't help. Tell me how you feel, tell me how you feel, tell yeah, me how you feel. Oh, oh. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Hyle Estrada, who would rather stay at home with his young son than go out partying with his wife. But is Hyle completely shutting down in his marriage? You say he never listens to you when you talk about how you feel. No, he doesn't know how to communicate. That same face right now is the <laughs> face that he always has when something on, is on his mind and he needs to let it out, but he doesn't know how to express his feelings. I have to pretty much beat it out of him, not physically, <laughs> but like, you know, I mean, how else is he gonna tell me how he feels if I don't beat it out of him? Hiel, <laughs> what's wrong? Let's talk about it. I can tell in your face that something's wrong with you. You know, why don't you just communicate me? That's why we're married. We're supposed to, in a marriage, you're supposed to be able to communicate well, we try to with talk, your and spouse. What she, she do? She goes back on her phone. She's texting her friends about <laughs> what just That's happened lie. between us. That's well, a lie. Let me ask you, Mr. Comes... Estra, do you have difficulty communicating how you feel? Which is, you know, some people do. Yeah, personally, I do. I, I can't express my feelings. That's, right. That's me. That's, That's the way I was, you know, raised, whatever. Uh -huh. But I don't express my feelings. I tend to keep them inside. I mean, he is who he is, Ms. Cabral. Some people are, are emotive, some people are expressive, some people but aren't. But we're married. Me, and I get that part. But rating them doesn't help. You give him an opportunity, you put it out there, you come back later, but it doesn't help. Tell me how you feel, tell me how you feel, tell yeah, me how you feel. Oh, no. it doesn't help. Well, if he wouldn't have that face on him, I mean, I wouldn't be asking him repeatedly. He Excuse should me? just start the conversation. You know what, Adriana? It bothered me that you went out last night or it bothered me that I was stuck with the baby or whatever it is. Be open, let me know. How are we supposed to repair our marriage if you can't even explain to me why you're mad or why you don't want to be with me or why we're not going to have dinner together or whatever it is, Hiel. You don't know how to communicate with me. My question to you, Ms. Cabral, is do you know how to listen? Yeah, I know how to listen. She don't. Every time we talk, it's you know, the most, the, the most important aspect of being a good communicator is being an active and intelligent listener, and I don't think you know how to do that. I'm a good I listener. I think that you're stuck on what you want and what he's failed to do so much that you can't hear what he is telling you. And I don't think he thinks there's any point in saying anything because when people do talk to you, you're still on that same note. You never really listen. You she talks, never re listen. you hear but you don't listen. When Divorce Court continues, Adriana has some explaining to do. The last number dialed was a number that had sent me a text message. It said, hey babe, uh, I had a good time. I miss you already. Oh. All of hey, my babe. friends call me babe. Divorce Court returns with the case of Adriana Cabral and Hiel Estrada who are calling it a wrap after only two years of matrimony. Why don't you tell me what the final straw was that made you decide that this marriage should end after only two years? One morning, you know, I, I had got a text message. It was really late. I didn't bother to look at it. I heard it go off, but, you know, I figured it was, it was nothing, and it was nothing. The next morning, he has the face on him, 
and he's just like storming through the room, like just making a big ruckus out of nothing. And I'm asking him, what's wrong? Like, all of a sudden, did you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Like, what's wrong with you? Until he didn't, he didn't, of course, lack of communication. He didn't want to tell me what was wrong until I, my phone was off. I used his phone and I look and the last number dialed was a number that had sent me a text message that followed yeah, but that what did the previous text message say? night. It said, hey babe, uh, I had a good time. I miss you already. Oh. All of hey, my babe? friends call me babe. All oh, of really? my friends call me babe. But you can't call me babe. You I call, call other you guys babe, all babe. The time. No, you don't. You call other guys babe, babe all the time. Babe is just a word. I mean, there doesn't have to be feelings behind the word babe. Babe, you know, Anyways, he didn't Miss, even Miss, trust Miss, me. Miss Cabral, he clearly feels disrespected when other people call you babe. So he, you need to stop. You need to make him stop. Because there's no reason to ask him how he feels about something and then ignores what, ignore what he tells you. Why, but why if you would have communicated with me the next day, hey, Adriana, I was going through your phone, there was a text message, I just want to know why you got that text message and why this random number was, was it's texting you. It's not a random you. number. His, his number, his name was already saved on the number. Because he saved his number so in So why does phone. he have your phone in the first place? Oh, yeah, now see, now see, is, is, see, now Ms. Cabral, don't even talk anymore. You're digging yourself such a big hole, you'll never get out. <laughs> um, tell me about the $2,250 you're seeking from Mr. Estrada here today. These past five months, I've been paying the car $250 a month. The, the, the converter, the smog, and the tires that I had to pay for, that's over $2,000. And yet, that's it right there. That's the car that I'm paying for. Right? But do I get to drive it? I don't get to drive it. That should be my car. If I'm paying so much money into it and putting all the money into the repairs, shouldn't that be my car? I mean, I don't understand. Mr. Estrada, I don't get to drive what, what would you like to say about that? She does pay for the car, I understand that. And like I said, I thank her all the time because I can't afford to make the payments. Mm -hmm. You know, because I got... She makes substantially more than you, correct? Or... No, I make more. He makes more than I do, but yet I'm still paying uh, now for Now I'm everything. confused. I make more because I, you know, I got to pay the gas. The gas is constant. It's so much gas because we travel so much. We, we <coughs> drive a lot because we go from our house... That's $100 a week. We go from our house $100 to... $100 a week $100 a gas. week. Okay, that's $100 a week, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. Where the money goes? Let me help you yeah, out. Where yeah, where does the money go? I, I help her out with bills, too. Like, I buy her stuff, buy her clothes, you know, and, you know, every time I want to I buy go... myself clothes just like I buy my son clothes. When's the last time you bought me I something? I think you're you not putting nothing. your money in the right places, Mr. Estrada. You talk about the, you know, okay, after the gas and all that, you buy her something. You should be able to pay for your own car. Exactly. Why am I the one paying for it? Let's see. The registration. This last I year, I can't in figure out payments. where your money is going. I'm Other than the gas it. tank, where is your I money going? It goes to bills, you know. Broke. I have a dollar to, to my name bill. every paycheck. She does the car bill. It goes to insurance. Where it goes to it insurance. Go? It goes to gas. It goes to like the cable, electricity. But yet, I still help you out with gas. <laughs> Here's where we are. I'm not giving anybody anything. Number one, he ain't got the money to give it to you. And you, exactly. and number two, broke. you got an eight-month-old baby. You're 23 years old. You've only been married two years. Nobody doing anything scandalous out there, although I'm not quite so sure about you and that text and that guy. That I'm not really feeling good about that. that. that Next thing you got to do is go to marriage counseling and learn how to talk to one another. I know why he doesn't talk to you, because it's a hard thing to do. You come back with shards and, and darts and, and, and staple guns, and he's like, whoa, I'm not going there. You got to learn how to talk. If I were you and had any extra cash, I'd get some marriage counseling and then a savings account. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I don't want to be with you anymore. We're done, okay? I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. And I wish the best to you, but when we get back home, you pack your stuff and you dip, okay? Why you gotta be like that? Because I can't do this anymore. I can't do it, Hiel.